Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today we're going to be playing some more Destiny Child. But first things first, look at that. Rag to Break 3 is already ready to happen. And we already know the character who is for Rag to Break 3. It's going to be, um, Big Belly. That's how you say your name. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Unfortunately, I don't think I will be able to cover it just because on uh, next week, for the whole week, I'm going to have to be doing, like, recovery from like the dentist again you guys remember the last uh tooth thing so yeah i'm gonna be doing that and getting that finished and also i've noticed i did a mistake and did like um i think three level three um three star or two star whichever one it was and i thought that was what i was supposed to do but it turns out that wasn't the right one. <laughs> so I think I did this. Yeah, level three. And went to... Yeah, two star, actually. And I, it seems like I can auto this pretty easily now. Well, I do have her to plus five, so, you know. <laughs> I've been getting a whole bunch of good units. Well, not good, good units, but some pretty good, decent units up. I need one more to have my first uh, natural five star plus six. But yeah, these are pretty easy now. I don't want to use any refreshes here. I want to try and get it through this event and then refresh. Then I'll have a fresh uh, table. So I'm kind of just saving that off. I'm kind of happy they made an event that uses a lot of our energy, but whoops, I did it again. I was not trying to do that. But yeah, I'm just letting you guys know I won't be able to make a video or stream through the whole next week. Just because of that tooth thing. I've been trying to do this, but overhit also requires me to grind also, so yeah. <laughs> Wonder if I'll be able to get that of uh, five. I don't think so. Yeah, this is probably gonna eat up on this one table. This overhead has basically the same event. Which definitely doesn't help out my grinding for this game. So I've slowly just been choosing days for certain characters. No, not certain characters, certain games. I do want this ticket though. I'm going to try and get this done. Uh, how many more days do I have into this event is out? It does not tell me. That's not good. I already have her, so... I need to figure out what time this event ends. I don't know, I'm guessing next week. <laughs> the Dead or Life event, I didn't really go, like, all out on. Just because... Man, <laughs> they were just decent characters. Nothing, like, too significant. So, I didn't really go for it. And plus, their drop rate is was bad for me but yeah it's still gonna be a water event for the new event that opens up next week which should be fun so yeah let's go ahead and get the wind team together okay so which team was it I think it was this team I was raiding with this was the team I was thinking of raiding with but never went with Okay, so obviously we're going to have this character in there as our support. We'll probably have Krampus in there as our attacker. Let's see, let's see. I was thinking about throwing this character in here just for his leader. If I um, do want to work on him. Yeah, his drive damage could be pretty good I 
but you guys let me know on that. If you guys have any like suggestions to, for like changing my characters, just let me know and I can do that. I was thinking about using this character as an attacker just because wasn't it like, yeah, two hits. But then again, I think Krampus still does more. Yeah, she does four hits, basically. You do three on your tap, I think. No, four on your tap. And three on your... Slide. Oh, okay. That could actually be good as an attacker, too. As for another support, I'm going to be using... Um, where is she? Where is she? Damn, she's all the way back here. I'm going to be using you as a debuffer. And using this character as a support. That's the kind of team I was thinking of using. So if anybody has any two cents to add on to that. That would be nice. <laughs> Since I won't be able to talk to you guys um, next week. Actually, maybe on Thursday. Maybe if I'm recovered enough. I could. But I'm definitely going to farm the hell out of this event. Because this character has one of my most favorite designs in this game. Okay. Let's do this. And max you out. I haven't finished all the other events. I haven't really done the devil ticket, to be honest. Because I haven't really... When I hop on, I just start grinding. I never really think about it anymore. I just totally don't even think about it. Like basically, when I hop on double t double pass doesn't even exist. I'm gonna skip that for now. I'll come back to it later. The sad part is I had like I think. 300,000 of let's see hold up that's crit let's go ahead and just use agility that'll be your best but yeah I was I had like a 300k of like onyx and once I started like putting it into her skills and stuff man that disappeared faster than I could think <laughs> So, yeah, feels bad on that. What should I put on you? I think for this event, it's going to be poison, right? Do we have any poison dodging? I don't think we have poison dodge. I think it's a thing, but I just don't got it. Hmm. Yeah, I do have this. I was thinking about bringing um fridges for this, but dark unit. But could be used as a attacker, actually. Actually, I could do that. I could be like, screw this character and put in you in place and give him this wouldn't that be a better idea that's what it seems like now that I could put him as leader nah not as leader um anybody here got crit nope <laughs> well feels bad maybe I'll put pantheon in here Nah. Would that even be worth it? Now I'm questioning my whole defense now. <laughs> also to finish this character. Who's turning out to be really damn good. I already maxed out all of her other skills, but... Yeah, she's actually pretty decent. 
I think she's actually above changes like um, stuff right now, right? Okay, now she's like 90% down since I did get that copy of change. Man, I need more copies. <laughs> Especially of Diana too. But hopefully I don't have to use Diana through this whole event. That's the thing I'm hoping for at least. I might up this guy. Oh, I love gun. I hope we don't have it like kill block or something. Like kill block would be terrible. I didn't finish this. No, I don't think I could finish it. <laughs> no, feels bad. I'm only like three away. Come on, game. You could have gave me that. You know you could have. Then I have to up that. I might six star him. I can easily do it. I'm not gonna use you guys. I, I even forgot to lock you guys. I normally unlock all my five stars. Or any important unit. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I have no idea if I want to work on that character at all. To be honest, I might just throw her in just for the extra points. That'll probably be just about it. The thickness. Give me more thick events. Speaking of thickness, where the hell is um Hilda? Like... <laughs> I've already talked about this with, like, people inside of uh, my streams. They totally skipped over Hilda. Apparently, Hilda doesn't exist at all in this whole event. Poor Hilda, poor Hilda was thrown to the side, man. They were just like, nope, fuck Hilda. You guys don't get her thickness. Alright, thank you. Let's see. Grab this. Let's see what we get for here. Nothing good. Come on, something I need. Nothing I need. <laughs> The only reason you would want to, um, oh, I'm about to say that one's louder. The only reason you would ever want to do Rebirth Dungeon now is just to get, like, extra copies of characters in there now. Especially if you already have everything. What is this one? Oh, her again. That's nice, I guess. I recently six starred her, so she's not like fully done. Yeah, my teams are coming along like really well so far. I don't know. I'm running out of space apparently. How long have we been recording? Wow, not too long. I probably have a like a video I need to uh, go delete. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys a picture of Belly if you guys have not seen her yet. So let me go ahead and pause this and go delete that video. Alright, here we go. There is basically your next character. So yeah, we all pretty much knew it was going to be Belly. But yeah, that's pretty much her. Pretty much called it out there. And let's see if I can get, a, get you guys a better picture. 
So we already know her name. Really? There we go. Oops. I forget I left Ragnarok in there. Wait, is she not going to pop up? I guess I'll put in season three. Or is that not how you spell her name? Okay, maybe I am misspelling her name. Hold on. If I remember if I remember correctly, this is supposed to be the um, alternate skin you're supposed to get, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be censored to where it shows less of her cheeks. So, yeah. I think that's going to be um yeah, it's going to be like this one. Yeah, that's probably what it's going to look like. So, yeah, it feels bad. Uh, hmm. Why the hell? Okay, there it is. That's her normal look. Ah, oh, Bari. That's what it was. So, I, I was somewhat close. Okay, that is not... God damn it, phone. There we go. Oh, wow. It's not going to even show... Like actual pictures of her original and not just the skin. Okay, here it is. <laughs> the search, man. The search. But yeah, that's what she's going to normally look like. So I wonder if I could find her skills now just for you guys. Hold on. All right, good old rice farm. Let's see. So for the Japanese and more than likely Korean version, Here's what she does in there. She's, by the way, like always, I tell you guys, these skills are subject to be changed for global. Like, we won't get these exact skills, but we will get some of the stuff similar to it. Just let you guys know. Okay, so her first skill, which is the tap skill, does a 70% chance of heal block. So, yeah, for eight seconds. Her leader skill, 5%. Damage for slide skill for waters. Oh, yeah, she has the stigma thing. Okay, let's see. Prioritizes enemies with buffs. Up to do and deals damage up to two enemies. On tank targets, deal additional 800 ignored damage. Applies uh, stigma. Deals damage based on how many buffs the enemy has. Oh, this is going to be um, a dot damage debuff. Okay, so f you're going to be taking a lot of damage for however many buffs you have. So if you have like a real buff team, like real heavy buff team, it's not going to work out for you. Especially if you're going to use Diana and, you know, regening characters, stuff like that. Stuff that just throws on like buffs like change also into that party you're going to be taking so much damage is going to be insane but you know i can't even say it's probably going to be insane just because we don't really know the damage like the actual damage seeing it but it's going to be times 50 so times two you're going to be taking 100 damage if you have like three buffs you're going to be taking 150 yeah, that, that doesn't seem too bad, to be honest. Yeah. So I think the maximum you will be taking for, like, six, like, debuffs, would be, um, 350? Yeah, 350 damage every four seconds. All right, I don't think it's as dangerous as, a um, bleed debuffs right now just because <laughs> bleeding debuffs right now with the cards are pretty insane right now okay so let's see her drive skill she hits up to four enemies and applies debuff explosion so she pretty much has frigid's um, drive okay removes debuff well removes one debuff and deals damage
Okay, he has little notes down here. Okay, decent unit, but there are better water attackers. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah. Okay, I didn't I didn't look down here. Yeah, that that's exactly what I was like thinking too. And another note, that ass. You you goddamn right, sir. Alright. <laughs> well guys, that's pretty much your um skills, but like I said, we don't have like a full on chance of getting all those skills. They could change her and make her stronger or make her weaker. Normally they've been making the characters a lot weaker from like the global and yeah in the global version we get we're getting like a lot weaker versions of the characters for like korean and japanese right now but who knows who knows well that's pretty much it but if you guys wanted to see my progress here here's all of it uh, 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 uh. Been taking it slow and easy so far. Haven't been trying to like outperform right now. Especially since the Dead or Alive event came around and I was just like, dude, I'm about to start summoning. Then get all those bad pulls in that video and I was just like, oh, well, time to stop summoning. <laughs> all right. That's pretty much all that progress. If you guys want to see the rest of my um, cards, that's pretty much it. The other cards are on people, I think. Don't you have like that? Um, yeah, you have this one. I think it's maxed out. Yeah. So we got little cards throughout, like that around. We gotta have got this one. He has that one. Oh yeah, you have this one. That increases poison damage. I totally forgot to up that. Oh, there it is. You have it. Now let's go ahead and plus two that. Like I said, in the arena, the freaking bleed is getting insane. Oh, you have it. The poison invasion. We're changing that out. You can have this. Oh, actually. You know what? I should put that back. I, <laughs> I took that off for the wrong reasons. Change. Put that back. My bad. My bad. Alright, guys. We're going to head out. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. And like I said, if you guys have any tips for me or any characters I should change or suggestions, go ahead and help me out. Until then, peace out.